The 52 gal is a midline shooter with a slow fire rate but high damage to make up for it. As aggressive as a goose on a bad day, the .52 gal is a weapon that focuses on getting the kills to pay the bills. The role of the .52 gal is not to play support, nor is it to play the objective. Its only job is murder. Being a high damage midline weapon means that there aren't many weapons that can outpace this thing in raw killing potential. The mobility of the .52 gal is rather low, and this means that strafing in combat really isn't an option. However, the kill speed is so ridiculously fast that this is rarely a problem. Shot deviation, however, is a problem. By far the biggest drawback to this thing is its terrible RNG. This is something that will absolutely screw you over at the worst possible times. There's nothing that can be done about this, it's just something that has to be accepted. Despite dealing no direct damage, the point sensor is still a very useful tool in combat. The throwing range of the point sensor is significantly higher than all other bombs. When used to this advantage, the point sensor can tag opponents well outside of the .52 gal's range. This can weigh into the .52 gal's favor by allowing it to know how to approach a situation. This can also add support to the team by letting everyone know where the opponents are. The main benefit to the point sensor is its high range, which helps balance out the short range nature of the .52 gal. The baller gives the .52 gal the option for a safe approach or a safe escape. There's nothing too special about having the baller on the .52 gal, it's just a standard baller, no special tricks required. There are several ways of playing the .52 gal. You can play a massive with the main gun, you can play support with the point sensor, and you can play the objective with the baller. Depending on which one of these you choose to focus on will affect the abilities you'll want to use. For playing aggressive with the main gun, the abilities I recommend are ink resist, run speed, and swim speed. The slow fire rate makes it easy to get stuck in ink, and ink resistance is always very good at negating that. Run speed and swim speed give a much needed boost to mobility, something the 52 gal is very lacking in. Main power up decreases the shot RNG while jumping and while on the ground, but after playing with this I haven't found it too useful. Maybe it just doesn't have a drastic enough effect, or maybe I just like playing with the super high RNG. But either way, I haven't found it too useful. Sub power up increases the throwing range of the point sensor, and this allows you to lob the thing even farther. If you like to play around and be a nuisance with the point sensor, this ability is an absolute must. Special power up increases the durability of the baller, and if you plan to be approaching, anything with the baller special power up is a very powerful ability and I can't recommend it enough. Hey everybody, it's Baderfish, back with some more Splatoon 2. Today's weapon of the day is the .52 gal. For abilities, I'm going with some run speed and swim speed to help just play aggressively. My sub power up is to really be able to lob those point sensors really far. Uh, then I'm rocking some ink resist just because the fire rate on this thing's kind of bad, so I find myself getting stuck in ink a lot. And then I'm just going with special charge up and special power up to help with that baller. Today, I want to jump into some turf war because I am not very confident with this gun. It's not a terribly hard one to pick up, but I'm scared of ranked. Anchovy games. Okay, okay. We'll see how this goes. I don't think this is a terrible stage for this weapon, but there's very few weapon stage combinations that I actively dislike. Okay, so I think my goal right here... I'm going to try to go up and around. Um, particularly on this stage with point sensors, I like to be able to uh, lob point sensors because there's always people who are just chilling right around here. Man, I'm missing. Okay. Got him on the ropes. That does not auto-kill that. Always gonna blow that up. One hit, two hits. Hey! That's what I'm about. Seriously, the damage on this gun is ridiculous. Like right there, it only takes two shots to kill, and that's just insane. The killing potential? I mean, I don't consider myself that good at playing aggressive, but I just took out three people right there, no sweat. Um, there's a fellow over there. Can I get him? Oh good, you got him. Okay. Uh, we probably both didn't need to jump down. Can I shoot that? Yes. Okay. I'll tag that person. Uh, we're kind of stomping on them. Okay, I'm just gonna hold on to this baller until things go south. Never mind, they're going south. Um, get me in here. Shoot. Um. Nope. Nope. 
Oh, and nope, number three. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Yeah, I kind of deserved a squid bag there, not gonna lie. Oh, look, there's a... A fella. Oh, never mind, you got it. Booyah to you as well, my dear friends. So yeah, the big reason I like Ink Resist is just because when the base gets inked up a little bit, like, it's really not worth it. To, like, have to worry about painting and stuff. There we go. I could squid bag him back, but I'm too much of a gentleman for that. Okay, I know there is a fella over there. Okay, you don't have a shield. But you will. Yep. And he's in. I'll take the trade. I feel like I could have played that better. But... Yeah, that, that Tenebrella knows what he's doing, and that counters shooters pretty well. Booyah bomb. Okay. Let's just ink up whatever's left around here. Um, I might be able to ink that up. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure we have this in the bag. I was, I was wanting to get him. That's okay, though. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty clear victory. Hey, exactly 30%. That looks nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I did pretty good. As I said, I'm not terrible with this weapon. It's easy enough to pick up. Anchovy Games again. Okay, okay. Uh, we're all rocking short range. Okay, Tenebrilla is still on the other team, which I'm not too happy to see that because I was not having the easiest time dealing with him last time. I can booyah to you fellas as well. I wish that this gun painted a little more evenly. It's better than some of the other guns out there that leave lots of holes, but I still feel like it could be a little bit better. Hey, none of that. Um, can I do like a big clabber? Uh, that's not the big clever. Uh, what's up? Ba boom! Hey! Wow, those tenor missiles really got me. Okay, I am going to focus on painting up this base. I would jump in if it was toward the end of the match, but I feel like at the beginning, especially, it's important to lock down what you can, or that's just my excuse. Okay, two of them just died. That is not too good. Come on, I would like to get this baller up. Did I just see someone over there? I feel like I did. I guess not. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a fella. Come on, can I tag someone with these point sensors? Okay, there we go. Whoa. Uh, yeah, that's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, okay. I'm focused now. Uh, I'm gonna head over there, up to that upper section. It's gesturing to it with the little, the pointer thing, but I don't know if that's a very clear way to communicate through videos. I don't know. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, someone's gonna come for me. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, I was about to start getting mad. Because this RNG, I've, I know I complained about it in the little intro section a bunch. Because it's like the worst thing about this weapon. Hello, look, I'm a baller. Hey, stop that. I'll take the trade there. Um, wow, this is going to be a close match. Uh, if you could please not... I mean, in my defense, I did get a hit on him. It's just that my team is bad, obviously. Um, that might have just cost us the match, but I mean, hey. We still got uh, like 30 seconds and that's more than enough time. Okay, we're just going to ditch all these fellas and just run into their base because that's what matters at this point. 
Shoot. I knew he was chasing me. I knew he was chasing me. Yeah, that wasn't too good. I feel like I still played okay, but we just kind of lost it there at the end. Okay, what's that final percentage? I would have guessed it would have been a little closer. I don't know. Yeah, not nearly as good as the last match. Still not bad, but at least that's my excuse. Haha. -ha. Okay, match number three. Yeah. Hey, while I warehouse, I was nervous I was going to get anchovy games again, because I don't like that, getting the stage three times in a row, but that didn't happen, so. Hey look, the guy named Kensa is using the Kensa splatter shot. Was that the guy who used the, uh, what's it, Kensa Octobrush last time? I'm, I'm noticing a theme to him. Or her, I did not check the gender for gift. Um, yikes. Okay, that's a splash of matic I outrange him, but he has no RNG. Okay. Um. How did I not tag that guy? Hey, what's up? Uh. Hey, you can't just... Okay, I really hate this strat that people do when they throw bombs right next to the baller. Oh, it makes me so mad. Because it's so effective. Oh, uh, no, I hate Tana Missiles in the base, because then they get to ink up a little bit. Uh... Huh. Um, as you notice, this is something I have not pointed out in any video yet, but it did take three shots to kill him, even though this weapon two shots. And that's because when weapons arc downward, uh, damage gets reduced because of fall off and something, yeah. For some weapons, uh, particularly this one, because it's barely a two shot, that can be kind of bad. Um, can I, like, do a big tricky... Okay, one, and I just got one. Okay, they're kind of holding this back pretty well, um, and that's not good. Um, tag that fella. Oh, that's the splatter shot. Bro, uh okay, good, he's dead. Oh, and you shot him, good. Okay. And I got him. Hey, look at us, we're taking it back. Okay, let's go ink this up, take back this little corridor. Ooh, I can see fellows around over there. Let's add some baller support. Okay, I got one, got one. I'm noticing that a lot, is that I can always kill one of them, but not two of them. Which, I mean, it's not the worst case in a Rio. Come on. And now they're killing all of us. Okay, that's not good. Hmm, okay, last 30 seconds. This is when it all counts. There we go. Haha, -ha, look at me being stealthy. Okay, let's get this back. Let's throw a couple ink bullets up in their base to steal like three points from them. Hey, maybe it'll do something. Shoot. Shoot. Uh, hey, look, a Kensa Splatter Shot Pro not running a ridiculous amount of main power up. You don't see that every day. Hmm. Again, I feel like I did okay, but also I lost, so maybe I didn't do that good. Okay, I didn't do terrible, but wow, that Splatter Shop Pro, he knew what he was about. But yeah, hopefully I was able to show off the ridiculous killing potential of the .52 gal. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.